uh, once again i thank the kanur university and the indian library congress for giving me this opportunity to present something i came across because in kerala uh, public libraries is a movement and there is an effort from the progressive sections to establish library in each village and now there is a program to establish libraries in each ward of the village but that's not the case we have heard every speaker talk about in the rest of the country so while doing field work as part of tricontinental in institute for social research myself subin nitish and shatrupa who are in the audience we were doing field work in haryana fatehabad so we came across one such library which was an initiative of a private individual i'll share that story with you uh, in this presentation or uh, next uh, before that actually i would want to pay tributes to arun swaj i just want i am sure most of you would have heard about him arun swaj was from the united states he felt that knowledge has to be freely available to everybody and as part of that he was an internet uh, a wizard so he when he was a student in harvard university to make knowledge accessible everybody he started downloading from the uh, harvard university library and was uploading freely in other websites so that people from across the world uh, can access that uh, uh, journals and other uh, material for their scientific research but what happened the us government uh, instead of praising him or let him let go of that so called crime he did punished him so severely that he was i mean the sentenced him for 35 years of prison he was a very young kid and uh, the, there was a fine of 1 million dollars he didn't know how to take the pressure and he committed suicide so i thought in this uh, indian library congress which also strives for making knowledge accessible to everybody i think we should remember him because he is from the progressive uh, movement like us in the us yeah first slide so now i'll come to the presentation of the uh, story of bhagat singh public library and book bank what happened was every year here also on 23rd march we remember the martyrdom of bhagat singh and uh, others but what we do is we we just make it as a ritual so this comrade uh, who were doing this program realized that that is not enough the, those were not the ideas of what bhagat singh stood for so then they realized that if we establish a library in his memory we will be carrying forward his ideals and also creating future revolutionaries from libraries and that was the idea of this library this was initiative of a bank employee after his retirement in 2016 he didn't know what to do uh, his name is comrade uh, sethi b s sethi he was a retired uh, manager gender, uh, senior manager of punjab national bank from haryana after his retirement he didn't know what to do so with his retirement money he formed a society to start a public library here it's a movement but elsewhere it is individuals who know the value of uh, education and libraries that this uh, library was started and what was the objective of this library was to help students come and learn and also because there is no reading rooms available they have made available a reading room for students to come and prepare for competitive exams to come and borrow books and uh, i must say that there is a popular saying that when you want to do something the universe conspires to help you do that when other comrades came to know that there is a library being started there is a library being started uh, other comrades freely made available a flat uh, in a complex uh, shopping complex they gave that uh, space freely as long as bhagat singh library is there the we won't charge any rent so that is also how others come together when we are trying to do something for the people that they come together and help us carry forward the movement and you must also notice that whenever our progressive people start a library it is never an individual it is always public is involved public Can library so that it doesn't prevent anybody yeah it doesn't prevent anybody from 
accessing it is free for everybody to come and access yeah there more to say but i just want to say that there are people who are conscious of importance of libraries and taking forward the progressive marxist ideology forward and they establish in their own individual ways but this library congress will if it is reported in mainstream media i'm sure will inspire many more people to start libraries and also i'm sure the progressive movements in rest of the country will join hands and make similar library movements to build a equal society thank you